So, I guess, and the story that you just told kind of speaks to my question, which is that if you don't personally understand where it's coming from, like when you were talking about, oh, my body is, or my subconscious is trying to sabotage you, that's not what's going on. No. So, but if you don't understand, like, you don't, see, here's like, the deal. Like, do you have to understand how it's keeping you safe in order you, you to address don't, it? You don't, but you have to know how to do it. Okay. That's the biggest problem. That was my big question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. See, even though when, when I worked with her panic attacks, I didn't know. I didn't know. But I do know how her brain works, and her brain will either, one, shift it, change it, or reveal it. Uh, my girlfriend's mom, uh, I went to visit my girlfriend in the hospital, and uh, her mom said, don't ever come back. So ever since then, I've had a pain in my left side. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for me to eat sugar, and I have a lot more pain. So I, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. Okay, good. <laughs> so, so is there a question? Well, I... I mean, that's, just, that's like a testimony. What's it protecting me from? <laughs> is it protecting me from my girlfriend's mom or something? Well, <laughs> or if, I don't know you and I don't know anything about your yeah. mother or about your female right, relationships right. but if I were to guess right. you're, you're being rejected right? Uh, and of course left represents uh, will, Heather bring me one of those innocent gall books one of the things when I first started and I started figuring out how pains work and how the unconscious mind will make things real is I use this book here and what I will do is I will look at, like if I do left, left represents female or receiving. Mm -hmm. And then locations of the body has a metaphor. It's body language, basically. When I started working with people, I started noticing when I deal, when I look at the emotional drivers, mm -hmm. and we had changed the emotional drivers, the pain disappears. And so I venture to say, this is not the first female in your life has ever been rejected <laughs> by Right? Right. So you may go look back at all the different ones. And again, this is your problem. And it's your reaction to right. her. Some people say, I'm so thankful I don't get to see that crazy woman again. <laughs> 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 but you're feeling the rejection of it. You, you see? Because it, it right. represents your childhood, your past, your experiences, yeah. and other rejections. You see it? Mm -hmm. So then what you do is you look at that. But one, you can look at the body. You, you can use this book. This is, I tell you, this is a very, very good book. And the reason why is because most of you will say, remember what he's saying? I have a pain. I have a pain. I have no idea where it came from. Who's making the pain there? The unconscious. The unconscious is using his memories and making it scream in the body. Now, he's, he's just a robot. He's just, he doesn't know his brain. He doesn't know how his brain works. His body is screaming. All of a sudden, he says, well, I, I must have a problem here. I must have some kind of digestive something wrong with me. And of course, you know how many people that used to have that problem and all we went to is memory? We change it. Boom. Body changes. My, in the very beginning days when I first started this stuff, I didn't do anything about these books. And I started using these. I thought, oh my God, there is a pattern that the unconscious mind will speak to our body, catching our conscious attention. Now think about it. This is how it works. The unconscious holds all the references and memories and emotional associations. You don't know what's in there. You know how many childhood memories you remember? How many days that you have gone down the same path to work? Can you remember all those? No. Your brain solidifies it, organizes it, and it'll only bring up the ones. Like when the owl flew across you or you, you saw something. It only brings the ones important. Because your brain solidifies. So now the body expression is a metaphoric expression of the unconscious resources. Knowing how to figure out how to change either this by going just here or knowing how to do both. That's the skill and I train my students to do. Now you're going to get a light overview of this because this is four days. I'm going to talk a little bit today. I'm going to talk a little bit tomorrow and I'm just start tapping on people. So I'm just going to demonstrate the power of your mind and I, and I want to help you to know a little bit more about yourself. My goal is to educate you and empower you. I do have an online training course. I do have training that I do around the world, train people to how to be in control of themselves. Because I will tell you this, you can spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on things that doesn't work. But if you look at what really works, makes sense, and you can test it, if it works, use it. That's my style of thinking, okay?
So this is how it works. So you have a pain, you're ignorant of your unconscious, you don't know how it works, and so you're going to say, I have a problem. And then you're going to go to the doctor, and the doctor says, well, there's nothing in there. And then, but yet it's real for you. Now, chronic pain is an interesting animal. Because chronic pain, if your pain is, you've had pains all your life, ever since you was a kid, and it moves around from location to location, you have what we call a brain pain. Not a physical pain. The brain pain is in its recordings in your brain of references and proofs, and it will start expressing it when you feel emotionally bothered. It's a brain pain, or we call it a trance pain. And knowing how to decode and rewrite your story is the trick of the trade. Real healing, real changes, transformation. So with that with it, with that book, it's still uh, categorizing pain and places the body's breaking down into areas. It's kind of like hard drive programming. Mm -hmm. How does that data, where does it come from? Because that uh, who is... Who put it together, you mean? Yeah, because uh, like the unconscious mind is a chaos machine. For it, some people. Yes, for some people. For us mortals down here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say not so educated yet. Yes, but um, within this chaos, there still seems to be a system of how the unconscious sends trauma or links it into different body parts, which is a consistent from what you're saying. It, it, it makes real what you hold. It makes real from what... Again, if you change the holdings, the, it, it doesn't produce. So let's say if... The left side of the body represents a female relationship. So you were assuming that he has trouble with female. I, maybe. I, I would bet that horse would win the race. Yeah. Okay. And if it was on the right side, it would be problems with male. Male or self because he's a man. Right. So, but there's a consistency of how the detective work to look based on some kind of consistent agreement that it will manifest. Mm -hmm. And that's so not disorganized. That's rather... It's, it's very logical. And here's the beauty of what I do. It's consistent. You can take it and use it in different people and you'll still get a result. Right. Based on one basic area. You, say you've, all you guys here have a pain on your left side. Yeah. It's all in the same spot. And I start doing an intake. Well, there ought to change on you. I'll go to one person and it's created this way. Different references, different proofs, same expression, and then the other person's totally different. Because the memory, so you have a different life. You have a different, you have a different programmers right here. I mean, you have brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles. He just has crazy grandpa, grandma, and everybody else. So the programming still goes into the unconscious. The unconscious is only going to use its resources and makes it real. Way beyond our consciousness. So knowing how to go inside you and knowing how to break down what you feel here, and where's the book? Right here. So if I go right here, and I'm just going to flip a page, I'm going to pick you, whatever it is. Tinnitus. <laughs> <laughs> Too much going on in your life. Shutting down. Your ability to hear or listen. Not trusting your own inner guidance and stubborn. All right? Now, again, this is a reference. So what I would do with this, I'd say, okay... I'm working with Gloria, or I'm looking with you, and I'll say, okay, tonight is, so what's going on in your life when it all happened? What was going on in your life when you started noticing it? Give me some memories and references. I'd ask, um, what happens when people say, do you have people who say things that, that you don't like to hear? Oh, my husband. All, ever since I've been married, he always says stupid shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> it, there's only, there's only one in the world. You got him, so you're lucky. <laughs> All right, so then you go, you start looking and say, believing that you, had to, you can't express yourself. Is that true? Can you find places and times in your life you can't express yourself? Yeah. You see, now I'm looking for her world now. I'm looking for how you are doing this to you. Give me your memories, give me your reference and proof. Now I go start changing her references and proofs, guess what's going to happen? Either one, the tinnitus will disappear or she'll forget that she ever had it. Or it won't bother her and she'll just live her life and move on. Because see, here's the weirdness to pain. Like, for example, if you, know, if you have bone to bone, your bone to bone rubbing in your knees or whatever, and you have pain, that's a real cause. 
But, you know, there's some research showing that, that they did uh, with arthritis, and they'll have two people. One of them, there's plenty of cartilage, and they have pain. And there's no reason for pain. And another person has bone to bone, and they have no pain. So what's the difference? And the difference is, is these memories and references that your brain will manifest in the body. That's why when I pull people up and I say, is it real pain or fake pain? And they go, I don't know, I think it's real, I feel it. But the weird thing is, I can look at them, the pain goes up. Or we start talking about emotional things, the pain goes up. Now, if it was real pain, it wouldn't go up. Now, it's brain pain or hypnosis pain or trance pain. Because you'll know if you're one of those individuals who have pain all your life and it moves in different places depending on what's going on in your life, that's a brain pain. And if you don't understand how your brain pain works, you don't know how the hypnosis of pain works, you're going to have, you're going to always be seeing doctors. And you know what? How many of you have, have physical pains? You go get the medication, don't work. You get the right surgery, it still don't work. They put a new joint in and it still hurts. Or better yet, you lost a limb and you don't even have a limb and the limb that isn't there hurts. That's brain pain. That's unconscious hypnosis pain. Now, science is proving this to be true, but the problem is they're trying to find a drug to fix it. <laughs> and drugs can't fix that part. Maybe a lobotomy <laughs> because it's all memories. Sound good?